Hey guys, welcome to another episode of a non-dying mall series. Today we're looking at the Oak Brook Center in Oak Brook, Illinois. Let's take a peek inside. Oakbrook Center is a large outdoor shopping mall located in the Oakbrook, Illinois area off of Interstate 88. The mall opened in 1962 and is the second largest mall by leasable area in Illinois, only surpassed by Woodfield Mall. Current anchor stores are Macy's, Neiman Marcus, and Nordstrom. The mall currently can hold five department stores, but unfortunately two are vacant. The name was originally Oakbrook Terrace, but ironically, the name changed when a nearby town took its name. When the mall opened in 1962, they had Sears and Marshall Fields as its primary anchors. A major landmark of the shopping complex was a 1964 edition of a single-screen movie theater operated by Balaban and Katz Corporation. After 33 years of operation, in 1987, the single-screen theater was split into the four screens as it is now and renamed AMC Oakbrook Center 4. It closed in 2001 and then reopened in 2018. One of the major flares I think they have in the shopping center is the amount of trees and vegetation throughout the property. They play to an outdoor theme and they do it pretty well. The mall has been through several changes and reshuffling of the department stores. Saks Fifth Avenue closed its store in 2002 and sold the location to Federated Department Stores which used the site to open a 90,000 square foot three-story Bloomingdale's home store in September of 12, 2003. The Cheesecake Factory opened in August 2004. Marshall Fields adopted the Macy's name on September 8, 2006 with Macy's buying the parent company. Here we're going through the most recent large expansion of the mall. When the mall opened in 1962, the area was just on the outer fringes of the western metro. The mall was not considered high-end as it is now as it catered to a wider demographic with Sears and a jewel food store. Ten years later, after opening, Oakbrook Center began its transformation with an upscale destination type environment into the whole Chicago area, even despite the nearby Yorktown Center with a hundred stores in 1968. Here's a chronological timeline of some of the stores opening and closing as it is concerned. On November 12, 2008, Barnes & Noble opened. A year later, in 2009, American Apparel, which closed in 2017, opened. In 2010, Gibson's Bar and Steakhouse opened across the street from the mall. Forever 21 opened in the mall in April of the same year. Pandora opened its doors in 2011. The flooring of this mall is very interesting, especially the thin stone fittings that emulate ceramic tile in the several neutral colors. The shape of the individual pieces are emulating hardwood flooring, which I think is pretty cool. Two thousand eighteen and two thousand nineteen marked several other department store changes. At the beginning of two thousand eighteen, it was announced that Lord and Taylor would be closing permanently in the beginning of two thousand nineteen. Also, in two thousand eighteen, AMC Theaters opened a new twelve-screen cinema in a remodeled section of the Nordstrom Wing. This remodeling included a new food hall named as the District. Since opening in 1962, Oakbrook was operating and performing as one of the top shopping destinations in the state, but operating largely the same since opening its largest expansion in 1991, 
The developers knew that the mall would have to change and evolve to cater to the changing shopping landscape to remain competitive. Dallas-based Omniplan in 2011 formulated the redevelopment plan. The plan included a three-story parking garage, the 12-screen AMC Cinema as mentioned before, the centralized district food hall, and the large central water feature called the Crystal Fountains, a spiral-shaped water feature operating all year round. At the beginning of 2019, only seven months after reopening, it was also announced that Sears would be closing permanently. Despite the competition of other malls in the area, like Yorktown and Chicago Premium Outlets in Aurora, the future of this mall remains bright. Over the 40 or so years of existence, it has brought itself out of the brink and survived many times over. The location is ideal along the I-88 corridor in a very successful commercial district. The high-end retailers and the clientele to suit make it ideal to remain healthy for many years to come. Along with the recent redevelopment to make it relevant, I see this continuing to mold and adjust to other future mall trends in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of a non-dying mall series. If you have any other questions or requests, let me know. And please stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks, guys.